One morning, Thomas was waiting at the top station of his branch line. He was to take some passengers to Knapford Junction. He had been at the works because of a faulty injector and was looking forward to a run with Annie and Clarabel. I feel so stiff, he moaned to himself. He spent a few more minutes idling at the station platform before the guard blew his whistle. Come on, come on, puffed Thomas to his coaches as they headed out of the station. We're coming along, we're coming along, they twittered. Everything was going well. Thomas was making good time and looking forward to a stop at Hackenbeck. Thomas's driver applied his brakes as they neared the platform. But they were slow to reply, and Thomas nearly slipped straight through the station. Cinders and ashes, he cried. That was close. After that, Thomas's crew took extra care. It was a pretty quiet journey after that, until Thomas saw Dryer ahead. His driver eased the brake gently. He checked Thomas's headlong speed, and everything seemed alright. Suddenly, Thomas felt his wheels still moving freely. His crew realised this too, and his driver pulled the brake hard on, but before they knew it, they were clear from the station. Help! Help! whistled Thomas in horror. They were more than a hundred yards away from the station when the guard in Clarabel applied her brakes and Thomas found himself going slower and slower. When they finally stopped, Thomas let out a sigh of relief. Oh, what a close call that was, he said to his driver and fireman. And they agreed. Thomas then backed down to the station and set his passengers down. Thomas was feeling a little bit embarrassed after his incident, but when the guard blew his whistle, Thomas forgot about it and puffed ahead to try and make up for lost time. Thomas arrived at the junction just in time. Hello, Thomas, whistled Edward. How come you weren't here before me? Thomas told Edward everything that had happened, and when Thomas was finished, Edward chuckled. Well, 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 <laughs> you travelled a bit far there, didn't you? Indeed, replied Thomas. <laughs>